Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So it is time guys for week 13 of our hashtag enchanted bingo collage challenge. I can't believe it's 13 already. We only have two more weeks to go. Can you believe that? Um, so yeah, I've had so much fun with this so far. Um, I think we did have one new participant, so we'll make sure to mention them at the end of this video. So we're going to go right into going ahead and getting our numbers. And who knows if this thing is going to cooperate. Looks like we did good on the first one. And once again, I forgot to get my prompts out. Um, so the first one is... 30 so let's grab our prompts from back here all right so 30 is a list okay a list all right so let's go there we go with our next one ever how it comes out is how it comes out number 24 so we have 24, I believe that's on the first page. And 24 is a lady. I think maybe I can handle that. Alright, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Boom. Alright. Number 65. 65 is... Something stamped. Okay. Something stamped. All right. So we got two more. Oops, there we go. And this one is number 18. So number 18 is something stenciled. All right. So we got stamped. Something stenciled all right and our last is going to be drum roll please 48 and 48 is do, 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 a poem wonderful a poem all right got, did I, what am i doing i can't even spell okay a poem. There we go. We know what it is. That is all that matters. It's just that we know what it is. So, I am going to pause you guys, go and collect my items and put these things away so we have room. In week 13, we have 30 is a list, 24 a lady, 65 something stamped, 18 something stenciled, and 48 was a poem. So, I'm going to pause you guys and go collect my items and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I finally made it back. Man, can I get sidetracked. Oh, my word. Okay, guys, so our prompts were... Boy, that's a... That's a sticky, sticky, sticky note. Okay, so our prompts for week 13 is a list. So I actually have this gro grocery list here. Um, a lady, so I'm going to pick out one from um, these vintage... Let's see. I believe I got these guys from my friend Marie at, um, oh, that's pretty. Um, i got to figure out which one to use. Um, Marie off of her Instagram page at Hope Vintage Journals. It's a picture of a lady. Uh, maybe we should just use that one of her by herself. But it's all of these photos, vintage photos. Oh, here's one. Okay, let me do this one. Oh, I don't know if I want to glue it down. Um, okay, guys, we're probably going to have to make a pocket or something with that because I really don't want to glue it down. So this is going to require me to think. So we may be in trouble here. Okay, so... Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, where do they go? I'm singing again. Lord help us all. Okay, a lady... Uh, something stamped. So I have this stamp off sheets here. Oops, I'm not sure what that is. Um, that I had stamped. So I thought maybe we would just take take some of these and put them down. Maybe we could do that one there and maybe just cut off about this much of this one and maybe use it on the other page somewhere. 
somewhere, somewhere. Okay, that may work. Um, so I am going to need a pocket. Let me think about a pocket. Um, because this photo, I do not want to glue it down. I just don't. I don't want to do it, guys. I don't want to do it, so I ain't going to do it. Okay. Um, something stenciled. So I have my stencils here. So I thought we would just do some stenciling, which reminds me I forgot to pull out. And I have been using this for Christmas, so we're just going to get out this since it's um, already with the... Um, Yep, little pads already too. So we will use those daubers. Yeah, pads. Daubers is what I meant. So we have those two. Um, and a poem. I have this poem. This is out of a Helen Steiner Rice, I believe is her name, book. And it's called The Answer. Uh, in the beauty of a snowflake falling softly on the land is the mystery and the miracle of God's great creative hand. In the tiny petal of a tiny flower that grew from a tiny pod is the miracle and the mystery of all creations, creation and God. It says a friend should be loved freely for himself and not for anything else. St. Augustine. So, love, love, love this. So let's go ahead and get this right down below. St. Augustine. And then... Um, what am I going to do here? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because I want this smaller. So, let's go. Let's try to do this. And then see if we can do... That. Good. It worked. Okay. So, now I'm going to get this little piece here hopefully there we go got it got it got it these pieces we can stamp on later I'm not gonna keep this so yeah um, so let's go down here and y'all know this ain't gonna be even so Yep, it is certainly not even, which we knew it, <coughs> excuse me, we knew it wasn't going to be. Alright, so this, and you know we got to put lots of free stuff on here because of this is so plain. Okay, so maybe that could go there. Let's take the top off here. Get that little piece. So maybe we could put this here. And then our list there, maybe. Um, what else do we have? A list, a lady, stamped. We need stencils and a point. Okay. So that can go over there. Okay, so maybe we should get this down and then do some stenciling. What do you guys think? that might work. I'm going to roll up my sleeves because I do have on my um, sweatshirt and it is the Talk Amongst Yourself sweatshirt from Gail Agostinelli and I love it. It feels so good. Um, very comfortable. Very good material. All that fun stuff. And I am going today because I have been procrastinating. Um, hello Matt. Get up and move. Um, I'm going to go on her website today and order my High and Hugs pink sweatshirt because I just have to have it. I have to. Uh, I want more than that, but yeah, it can get expensive. Um, so I definitely want the High and Hugs. And then I think next I will probably get the Kind sweatshirt because... It has now turned off pretty chilly here. I think today, let's see, it's wet and rainy when I'm filming. I'm filming on 
Thursday. I think it's the 4th, maybe, of November. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tear this off, guys, because I can use that somewhere else. Crazy, I know, but that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, filming on Thursday. The 4th, I believe it is. And it is rainy and only supposed to get up in the mid to high 40s today. So, a bit chilly. And in the winter time, my eyes are watering like crazy, guys. I'm not sure why, but it's driving me a bit cray-cray. Um, let's see. I want this to stand out. Maybe we should distress this. Maybe I should have just stressed the other two, but... Um, yeah, so in the wintertime, fall, winter, early spring, I live in sweatshirts. That is my thing. So, I do need to get some more for work, too, because it gets... Uh, we work on the front end, so it's like cashiering and all that stuff, so we are right at the doors and even with the heat on we literally freeze in the winter time um because we're right there where the automatic doors open and close and yeah with all that you get the cold air right in there so yeah so yeah we be so freezing in the winter time in there so sweatshirts are really good there Plus, I have a jacket with the uh, company logo on it, so I can wear that as well. Maybe we should bring this on over. And then if we want to put something else over there, we can. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like it. I like it. Okay. Shoe. Let's see. I'm thinking. we still got to think about a pocket. Maybe I'll see if we can get some of this distress off of here and onto there. And maybe I should go ahead and do some stenciling before the pocket. Still have to figure out what we're going to use for the pocket. Um, but yeah, I think I'd rather have a pocket to put her in. Okay, up you go. And do you there so we can see that music sheet okay so I'm going to park it down here so let's think about um yeah let's think about I have no clue I have no clue guys um let's see what do I have over here I wonder if this will work will this make a pocket Ha. Huh. That's what we're going to do. Should we just take it all the way up like that? Yep. That's what we're going to do, guys. We are going to make this our pocket. Because it's pretty thick. Let's do it this way. There's more stuff going on on this side. So we're going to make this our pocket. So let's do a thumbnail here. And then let's distress it. Let's see. Let's cut off. Yep, let's cut off some guys. Let's go here. And over here, let's go to the little hall. That should be good. And keep those scraps. Perfecto. Yep. We'll do that right there. Go ahead and get this distressed around. Well, that was easy. Not always easy, but that was easy. Yep, so that'll be cute. And then maybe we could put a sticker or something here. 
Okay, so we know what we're going to do with that, and I will. Um, let's go ahead and get it closed up into a pocket, and then we'll do our stenciling, and then this will have time to dry, and we can get it. Um, we can get it glued down. We actually could have two pockets, guys. Okay. Yep, and we have her. Okay. Let's see. Yep, I like that. Okay. Alright, so let's put her over here. And now, we definitely need the sleeves up. Let's get... Put this back where it goes. I keep that within arm's reach so that if I need it, we'll have it. Let's go with Papa Red down here in this corner. Why not? Oh, yeah, that's super cute. Okay. Let's see. What else do we want? Oh, we could do... We could do this right down through here, I think. And I think I'll also do the red. Cute. Okay, do we want anything else? Red. What is this? Let's see. That pocket's going to be covered up down there. So let's do some red flowers here and then we'll get us some green on here somewhere. Well, that's okay. I don't mind. It ain't nothing but the thing. Okay. So now let's get the green. Let's go with just some of this honeycomb stuff right here. Yep. Okay, what else do we want, guys? Let's see, how about... How's about this one? In the green here. Some of that's probably going to be covered up by that pocket, but that's okay. Oh, cute. I like that, too. Okay, we are done with the stenciling. Done, done, and done, because I want to get on to... Oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to stand up and hang that back up. I need to clean it off. I'm terrible at not doing that. Okay. Here we go. Now is putting down the pocket and then the fun stuff. So, let's get this back over here, about there. Alright. So, I did get out this tissue, guys. I thought it was just really bright. The color. So, maybe we will just put a pop of that on there somewhere. Just because it's so bright. Maybe we could do it right down through there. I think so. We still get stencil, right? Um, pocket. Alright, yeah, so there's our pocket. Uh, 
and I think I'm just going to do three sides and we will have an extra pocket in the back. Right there. Here we go. Got that pocket. And this photo will just slide right there. So there's our lady. Maybe this should go down here. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe just my piece of it's too big. That's cute. Maybe we'll just do that. Just put it right here. How about that? Yeah, that gives it a little pop of color there. I like that. Alright, so now we need to soup it up with some birds or a butterfly or a label. Sorry, guys. Or something. Because it is way way too plain okay let's see butterflies do we have here well, that's a pretty butterfly and then maybe we'll have one of those over here and oops come back here butterflies get back in there okay maybe we have that there and, 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 what else do we want where? Um, that's pretty. How about we do a yellow instead? Do a yellow. Hmm. Flower overload, I'm afraid. Okay. Do we want... Oh, a bird. Let's see about a bird. Um, we have some birds in here. So let's see. He's cheerful. Maybe he could go there. Butterfly can go there. Yeah, what are we thinking, guys? Okay. Let's get those back down in there. So there's that. Let's look at a label, perhaps. I don't use these that much, and I'm not sure why. Well, that's too plain right there. Maybe that's why. Just not doing it for me. Um, let's see. What what do we have in here? Hmm. <laughs> 
just not sure. I'm not sure at all. You know, when you put it down, if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. Here's some blue. There's a label. You can put it right there. Um, let's see. We have here. How about that? I think maybe that'll be okay. We have some faux stamps here. They may be okay. They're cute. Maybe we could put one of those there. Yep, I think that's got it, guys. I think we are going to stick a Tina number there and stop messing around. How about that? See how I just had to get that Tina number out. Okay, so let's just stress around this because my fussy cutting, of course, leaves something to be desired. And I'll just use art glitter glue on all these pieces just to get them down. There's that piece. really do appreciate all you guys who have joined in on this collaboration I have had so much fun doing it but even more fun watching your videos and seeing your excitement with this challenge can't believe we only have two more and then it's over um, I did want to go ahead and mention to you guys um, about my new challenge that will be coming up. And it will be with um, um, flashcards. So we will be doing that within a week, maybe two weeks after this one ends. And next video, I will get you guys the exact dates because I didn't look. Um... But I'm thinking, let's see, this is going to be um, hashtag flashcard Friday collage. And we will post our video on Fridays, of course, because it's flashcard Friday. We will have two set of prompts. <coughs> the first set of prompts will be a vocal point in which you will roll one dice and then get your vocal point that will tell you what your vocal point is going to be and then you will roll both dice twice in our second set of prompts will be for collage so you can use whatever you want uh, and add to it but you have to use at least um, those two items in your collaging your flashcard so you would take the second set of prompts and whichever two you get use that to collage with you can only use those two or you can add more stuff <coughs> to it if you want to um so you would collage your flashcard sorry i'm losing my voice guys <coughs> collage your flashcard and then your vocal point is going to be whatever prompt you pick for your vocal point and it will only run for six weeks because of course there's six numbers on each dice so that's how we're going to be playing that um, and you will use the hashtag hashtag flashcard friday collage did I put challenge on the end of that? Let me see my notes here. I want to tell you correctly. Yeah, all it is the, is going to be hashtag flashcard Friday collage. So I am very excited about that. And of course, I hope you guys will be able to join me. 
and like the this challenge I will um, type up the prompts and then post them on my social medias um, but if for some reason you can't get them off of there they will be on my Instagram and my Facebook page um, if you can't get them off of there then just send me a private message or let me know how to get a hold of you and I can always send them to you to make sure that you have them alright guys I think that is it for week 13 oh my gosh can you believe it okay that needs to go over the ear and probably really need to put these up but for right now they are going in the drawer I think I want to maybe put this on there these are some words that guys I just um, when I got my vintage typewriter had typed up some things and this one says you are strong I think I want to put it over here um, but yeah I just used some in my hope journal that I finished and I don't think you guys have saw all of those videos yet but yeah I put some of those in here I went ahead and tore them off the page as opposed to cutting them because I like that torn look I hear Nala barking downstairs <laughs> Veronica is actually off today so she's probably playing with her down there all right guys so this is a week 13 of our hashtag enchanted bingo collage challenge and this week my prompts were a list 30 so I have a grocery list here 24 was a lady so we have our lady here and this is a vintage um, this says sep to 1980 mm, maybe September 2nd 1980 I'm not really sure how to read that so that is our lady on her wedding day uh, something stamped I had these actual two stamp off scraps uh, something stenciled well we just stenciled on the pages um, and 48 was a poem and we have a poem here called the answer and it is out of a Helen Steiner Rice uh, book which I have you know a whole lot of um, so yeah thank you all so much for joining me so now I'm just gonna run down the list really quickly guys of everyone who has joined the challenge because we did have a new person this week it's late but you know what guys if you still want to do this if you're seeing this for the first time you can start from week one and go all the way to week 15 and do it for the next 15 weeks uh, by doing one video a week posting on Sunday um, you know or you can just do them back to back and post two or three a week whatever you want to do but um, if you're just now seeing this and you're interested please don't think you can't participate you do not have to start where we are on week 13 you can start at the beginning and um, yeah just have fun with it because throughout this whole thing um, that has been the number one thing for me if you want to add to it like we did today with the flowers and the butterflies and the bird please feel free to do so it's all about having fun these are just some prompts to get you started um so yeah so i would like to thank gardenia at uh handmade by gardenia sorry i can't talk um lavinia at lavinia nova designs and crafts gina at mary scraps linda at linda's thrifty life melody at melody made annie at annie creates Brittany linger at blinger creations melissa by mimi with love miss gg stephanie at thread and glue designs arlene osborne jovi at creating with jovi handmade by maze susan howes art cooking up crafts with that's amanda dotty at dotty's journal heaven uh paper lover c that's on instagram um aileen that is on instagram rata tamataz okay yeah still can't say that uh whimsy uh whimsy and mayhem uh paper crafts that's on facebook her name's kimberly she also is on um 
has a YouTube channel. Uh, Darcy at Darcy's Miss Adventure. And a new one this week is uh, Debbie Jean at Debbie Jean's This and That. So you guys go over and check out all of those wonderful ladies and subscribe to their channel if you have not done so already because not only do I really, really appreciate them joining in this challenge, they have great content on their cha uh, channels and I love watching them. I catch all the videos that I can, guys, although it is becoming increasingly harder and harder with things being so crazy at work. Um, and again, if I missed anyone, please just nudge me in the comments. Um, I tried to check all the hashtags before I do a video, um, and this video is being done on Thursday morning and, again, will not post until Sunday. So if you did anything between... Um, when I video and when it actually posts, then I don't know about you yet. Uh, but yeah, just please nudge me in the comments. Um, I would really appreciate it if you guys would uh, like my video and go and tell your friends about me. Um, I am at like 943 subscribers. I am trying to get to my goal of 1,000 subscribers. And I would really, really like to do that by the end of this year. Um, that still gives me, you know... Close to, what are we in the first week? So close to two months to do so. Uh, I think I can achieve that. I know with you, your help, I will definitely be able to achieve, achieve that. So a little ch shout out would be uh, awesome and very much appreciated. Um, and when I do reach a thousand subscribers, uh, my giveaway will be for a journal. Um, so yeah, go tell your friends about me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today or putting up with me today. Whichever way you want to want to address that is perfectly fine with me. I love all you guys and we will see you next Sunday for another Hashtag Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge. And I am really looking forward to Flashcard Friday. I hope you guys can join that as well. Love you guys. See you next time.